protocol on Binance. All right. So as we know today, Carol was released. And as you can see, the little sniper down there. If you know, you know. Gotcha. All right, let's engage. So the audit is complete as of today. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to, in case you missed the video from earlier today, I'm just going to do a quick bond for you, show you how quick and easy it is. Then we're going to talk some strategies. Carol Let's Finance, go. as you can see, you can switch between the Binance chain and the base chain right up here at the top. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a, a bond, then we're going to do a stake. Simple and easy. So now that you have your BNB in your wallet, you're just going to select here how much BNB you want to use to bond to Carol. I'm just going to do mm, 0 0.1, 2 0.1. Okay, yeah, that'll work for right now. So I'm going to do a 0 0.1 BNB. So I'm going to receive, uh, but see, this is where you got to make sure you know what you because we get a 30% bonus. So 991 is what I would normally get. But after I bond, so 991 times 30%, I'm going to end up with an extra 297. So plus 991. So I, I should get 1,288. Watch this. Okay, so let's bond. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is the automatic 30% bonus just for holding, just for bonding with Carol. Now watch how many I get. Let me pull my calculator up so you can see. Let me scroll here and you're going to see a pop up. I'm trying to move the calculator out the way. Okay. So it's going to pop up down here. What? Nope. Don't want to make it big. Okay. We're just waiting for it to move over to this side. Just waiting for it to pop up because it'll pop up down here. It'll show anytime now. Let me do a refresh. Don't want to make the video too long. Just want to do a quick bond. Make sure all the legends know exactly how to bond and refresh. All right, let me scroll back up. I should have did it. Let me make sure here. Make sure it's not just spinning. Yep, it should have did it. So let me do a refresh here. I'm not sure. Okay, now we should have it down here at the bottom. Oh, show more. Oh. <laughs> I guess it helps to show more. Okay, so it's right here. I said 1298. Let's pull up the calculator. 1280. Oh, there. Well, okay, I'm one off. So I received 1289 and I said 1288. Okay. So now you can see it down here. It's listed. So right now, if you don't do nothing else at the end of the, the 30 days, you'll receive, you will have received 1289 Carol tokens. But wait, there's more. But we're not going to do that. We want the extra 50% on top of the 30% plus the unlimited growth potential with ETH and or. BNB on this case, as well as in the Carol token price. So now what we're going to do, we go from the bond page, you go to the stake page. So we're going to select our stake here, the twelve eighty nine. So it's going to be thirty one dollars worth of Carol tokens going to be bonded or it's, well, excuse me, staked with thirty one dollars and seventy six cents of BNB. So let's go ahead and click stake. And it comes up. Boop. And that's it. So now it's staking. So as you can see, I only have two down here. I got this 4.01. Not sure where that one came from, but then this is this 1300. But then you'll see the next one pop up and it's going to be even higher. Watch than the 1298. Now, as we can see, the TVL is unbelievable in one day, $530,941. It took the other Carol on ETH a long time to get, well, yeah, it took them a long time to get to half a million. And the Carol price is 0 0.0246. Okay, so we're just waiting for the bond to come up. And there we go. So as you can see, 
that bond went from what? What did we say it was? 1288 times two. Bam. And that's it. It doubled. So we got the 30 percent plus another 50 percent. People don't under. This is why we so fascinated in 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 love with Carol due to the fact that we get we have a 30 percent regular bond. You get a 30 percent bonus. Then once you take that bond and stake it, you get the 30 percent plus additional 50 percent. Now, over time, as you can see, I'm going to receive 63 Carol tokens each day. So at 63 cent excuse me, 63, well, I'm just going to round it to 64. So 64 cow tokens times 0 0.0246. So I get $1.57 in tokens just for that one stake. But now if you get the price of ETH goes up and the price of cow goes up, it's, it's going to be even worth even more. So that's just how quick and easy it is to bond. And then, you, then from here, as you accumulate your tokens each day, you can come back up here. Then you have two options. You can either sell it or rebond it. If you rebond it, like I did 7.59, I could come in here. I could say, yeah, rebond, you have a percentage here, or you can always just do whatever you want. You could say just two and, and do it that way. But that's just a fast select. You can hit max and then hit rebond. It'll rebond it, and then you can restake it. So you have lots of options. Oh yeah, and we have the new thing here. So now we can actually send bonds out, which is great. It's, mm, that's multi-factor there. I'm not even going to get into that because there's some other secrets out there. Anyways, so here on your dashboard, you can see everything, because especially for my new the new legends that's first time coming to Carol. Here you can see everything. You have any bonds that you have. I still got one big one I need to go ahead and bond and stake. You can see your available tokens. This is going to change daily. As you receive tokens every couple of minutes or a couple of seconds, this is going to change. Then, like I said, you can come up and sell. Then here's your daily income. These are the four factors. Once you watch the videos, you'll understand these four factors. I'm not going to go into it. You have the base, the liquidity bonus, the whole bonus, and the personal bonus. Up here, of course, you have your TVL and the Carol token value. The incentive program, like I said, the link will be in the description. Then, of course, your proposal. Once you hit 25,000 cow tokens staked, then you have the ability to vote. So like right now, if I try to vote, I don't, I don't have the 25,000 tokens. So once you hit that 25,000 tokens, then you'll be able to come in and vote. It, now, my thing is, of course, with the legends, we already know if we're going to give a problem, we're going to come up with the solution right then and there. Enough said on that. So that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do a quick video on this. All right, let's go ahead and get into the nitty gritty. Let's go. Okay, so again, please overstand. This bonus will run out on the 20th of November at 5 p.m. UTC, which is 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So as, as it states, if you thought today's exciting news was over, think again. We are thrilled to announce an amazing promotion that will run until November 20th, 5 p.m. UTC. For everyone who makes a bond in our project's version on the base chain, we're offering a whopping 20% cash back in the form of a BNB bond. So all you have to do is go to Carol on base, do at least 0.1, then they're going to match it. Well, 20% of it, they're going to match and give you a bond of 20% of it on BNB. So you're gonna have something in both. So essentially you're getting, you're buying one on ETH, they're gonna give you 20% of that total on BNB or BSC blockchain. Now, I had one of the legends ask earlier about strategies. Carol is probably the most difficult. Well, she's already a SOB, stake a bond, but the, one of the most difficult because it's a lot of factors that have to be taken into account. So let's get into it. So first thing you have to do is watch the videos. I have them at the end of the uh, video. Next, you need to watch the, and to ensure that you watch the secret, Carol Secrets videos and you watch the Carol's bond versus stake video because you have to have the overstanding. If you don't have the overstanding, you're not going to get it. Then, like it says there, you need to overstand the four components that you have to have in order to reach the 8% per day. Now, and of course, you're going to understand the difference between the staking and bonding. 
So things you need to take into consideration for your strategy, your ROI, how soon, and are you going to disregard the bonuses? Then what is your minimum daily ROI or percentage you want to get? 2%, 3 4 5 6 8% or 2.5 or whatever percentage in between? Then are you willing to wait until it reaches that percentage? Because the 8% is going to be one of the longest ones to reach. And do you really want to wait that long? These things you have to take into consideration. Then take into consideration how often will you rebond? And how often will you claim? There is no sell. You just either rebond or you, well, claim or actually it is actually sell. (laughs) Because there is no claim button no more. All right, let's continue. So 2% L7, uh, 2% is good for me. That's a great, that that's a hell of a return per day. <laughs> it definitely is. So you're figuring if you put, say, $1,000 in there at 2% a day, that's 20% a day. Excuse me, that's $20 a day you're going to make. And in a month, that's $600 a month. So we'll just look at it like that. So at 2%, first thing you want to do is make sure that you removed your ROI from the game. And 2% is your daily goal. You're good to go. Because this is meant daily from just the base ROI from Carol. That is the minimum you're going to receive. And then you can stake and bond as you choose. You can do your strategy six and one, five and two, which is, you know, stake or just let it accumulate every day or rebond every day. However you're going to do it, you can rebond every day and then claim on the weekends. That is totally up to you. Either way, you're still going to receive your your 2%. Now, it's going to start getting a little bit more more dicey. So, of course, you've taken your ROI, but now 4% is your daily goal. So you already have the 2% from the base. Now you have the other factors you have to take account into account. The hold bonus. You can hold the bonus until you hit the 2% and then claim. But if you're going to do that, that's going to take 40 days for you to reach the hold bonus. And that's on both Carol on base and Carol on Binance. Please understand that. Say, no, 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 L7, I, I need 6%. Okay. Now it's going to get dicey. I had this, why did, did it split? Oh, yeah, okay. It went 8%. So we, you want 8%. You want the gusto on base, and then we're going to dis, uh, um, discuss Binance. Okay. So first thing, okay, you're taking your ROI. So now patience is going to always going to be a factor. Now 8% is the goal. So 2% going to come from base. Now you got to take into account the other three factors. And there is a difference. Please understand what I'm saying between base and Binance. So we have the 2% from base, which is just the base 2%. Next is going to be your hold bonus. On, on ETH or base chain, you have to hold for 40 days. You'll get your 2% bonus, meaning you can't claim or do anything but rebond on, for the 40 days then you'll be in that 8%. Well, then at least you'll have that 2%. Remember, you got to take these other three factors into account. Now, the liquidity bonus. you The liquidity for the entire Carol on base protocol needs to be at least 2 million plus to max out that 2%. You're going to have to wait till it gets there. And as you saw today, it went down. We were at 1.4 million. Now it's back down to like 103 million. So these are the things you have to take into account. And then the last one here is the 2% personal bonus. You have to personally invest at least 20 ETH into the protocol for you to max out that 2% bonus. Now it begs the question, do you intend to do that? Do you intend to meet these factors? If so, you're going to be waiting on the TVL. Then you're going to have to put at least 20 ETH in. So it really comes down to the need for greed. All right. So now that we're taking account, this is for Carol on base. Now, Carol on ETH. Of course, you've taken your ROI out. So now you're playing with house money. 8% is is still our goal. Of course, we got the 2% from the base. Mm -hmm. Now we got the other three factors. The hold bonus, the 2% is going to be another 40 days on Carol on on Binance. But here's the big difference. The 2% liquidity bonus on... Binance has to hit 4,500 BNB in order to max out the 2%. Yeah. 
So we figured, let me do my calculator here. So we're talking 4,500 BNB times, we'll say BNB is 250. That's $1.125 million overstand. Now, the last 2% is the personal bonus. You have to personally invest 320 BNB into the protocol in order to max out the bonus. Yeah. So this is what's going to, like I say, and these are the factors that you have to take into account to devise your strategy. Now, 4%, eh, that's that's sort of easy. You can get the 4%, you know, get your whole bonus and then claim after. <sighs> you know, it is what it is. But these are the things that you're going to have to take into account. I'm not going to, I don't want to make the video too long. All right, let's continue on. So here are the videos you need to watch. You need to watch Carol's Secret 1, Carol's Secret 2, here where I'm pointing. These are the two videos that break it down to the last compound on the bonus. Now, that these bonuses here are particular for Carol on base because there was no um, Binance at the time. But now you have the two things that you need to take into account because the hold bonus and the liquidity bonus back here yeah so the hold bonus is the same as well as the base bonus so those two factors are perfectly the same the biggest difference are the liquidity bonus and the personal bonus on both and then you need to understand the difference between bonding and staking do you just want a measly 30 percent or do you want the 30 percent plus the 50 percent plus unlimited potential on the growth of ETH and BNB and the Carol token. So these are the things that you have to consider. Then of course, there's more information here on the bonding time and different notes that you need to um, consider. Of course, go to the my YouTube, we're already on YouTube. Go, go to the click on the playlist and go to Carol protocol. And matter of fact, I'll put the list for the playlist in the description so it's easy to get to. So now for your strategy, you have the information that you need to devise it. You've watched the videos. Now you really need to decide your minimum ROI time. How quick do you want to ROI? Do you want to get in there, take the 2%? Okay, I put in $100. I got my $100 back. Now do you want to stake and bond and continue to let it grow? Then you need to decide that minimum daily APR. Is 2? Is it 4? Is it 6? Is it the 8%? And then, like you said, then there's the factors that are in your control. The hold bonus is 100% in your control. So thing with the personal bonus, you getting all that B&B &B in there or getting all those 20 ETH in there. Then the factors that are out of your control, which is the liquidity bonus. That is, is there's nothing you can do about that. It's going to fluctuate. And, that, and then the fluctuation in the eth and the cow token price is the difference in your profit per day too due to the fact of you know if eth goes up you're going to get less tokens and it's whatever you understand what i'm saying so those are the things that you got to take into consideration i hope this helped you a little bit like i say it's just a lot of things that you have to factor in and factor out so as always, this for informational and educational purposes only. This is never intended as any type of financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm Pedro Seven and everything that's related to Cal Protocol on ETH, excuse me, on BASE and Cal Protocol on Binance. Cal Finance is on Binance now. So like I always say, get in where you fit in. And remember that this is an individual endeavor. You always do what's best for you, your family, and your family finances because nobody else gives a damn about it except for you. No one knows your numbers except for you. So you have to do what you have to do for yourself. Whew. All right. So legends do what you do. The referral link is in the description. This is going to be a fun ride because now we have the ability to stake and bond and stack up some BNB. And we know last bull run BNB was up to six hundred plus dollars, six hundred dollars, and then the same thing with ETH. We have the ability to use Cow to stake the ETH and earn two percent a day safely. All right, as always, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And to all of my legends, engage. <laughs>